Wracamy do gry z pragnieniem niesamowitych wrażeń. Poczuj doskonały smak Coca-Cola zero cukru. Yeah, you don't, you don't see him for 90 minutes, but in the end you look, oh, two goals closer. Yeah. yeah. So this is also super super. One, one of the best Polish players in history he was. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> With Lukas Podolski. <laughs> Thank you again for these two great players. <laughs> O ile mnie pamięć nie myli, nie mieliśmy jeszcze tak utytułowanego gościa w programie nie Prosto w Czenie. Nie tylko Mistrza Świata. Hello, Sami Kedira jest z nami. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Hello. Sami Kedira, the most titled player we ever met in this program. Because it's not only world champion, but also a guy who won the Champions League, German Bundesliga, yeah? What else? La Liga. La Liga. La Liga. Under 21, under 21 European. Really? So you sometimes wake up in the morning and feel, like, oh my God, I'm so cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know that I'm not, I'm not cool. But uh, you know, the, the crazy thing is that it's like a drug if you win titles. So you would like mm -hmm. to have more. So maybe you know that now if you won once a title, you have to um, you have to repeat it and um, to show it that you are. Um, deserve it. So this is like um, like a motivation. But they are still missing um, some kind of titles, and I just won it once the Champions League. So this year or um, the next few years, we have to win for sure with, uh, with Juventus. This is like a um, like a big goal, like a big motivation for me. So I don't wake up and um, I'm not happy that I won all this title. But um, you I, I'm, I would like to have more. But there is any chance to choose the most beautiful moment of this? Many yeah, plenty yeah. moments. He won the World Cup. What would you expect? <laughs> but but <laughs> remember, he didn't play in the final. Yeah, this is. Um, this is now. The, the, all the, the people ask me like, yeah, but how does it feel? But you know, for me, football is uh, like it's like a team sport. So, and I played the semi-final. So everybody knows well, the, the seven, one. the seven one. So I played there. She I scored. Scored, yeah. I give an assist. So. Um, personally, for me, this was like an amazing game. But even the final. Did so, you score two goals in the semi-final? Me personally, no. One assist and one one goal. So, and to be fair, uh, when you talk about the World Cup of 2014, which game do you remember the most? The Germany against the, Brazil, the, the definitely. One, yeah. yeah, Germany against Brazil, yeah. definitely. No, but uh, I played five from from seven games after a big injury. Um, I broke my ACL before, so um, yeah, it was hard to um, don't play this game. But at the end, I'm I'm part of the team and. I tried to support them from from the bench, you know. So it was even um, I, I didn't play the the final. It was an amazing um, experience, and uh, yeah, the, the, the party the, must the, the, the party the, must have been good the, after. Right? Yeah, we had in, in Rio. Yeah, so you can imagine it was directly on the sea. So it was, and uh, now the, the the federation organized a big party, and it was. It was I great. see something in a documentary movie. It was, but it, I think it was. Like 10% of this party, yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's better that you don't know anything. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, <laughs> if, if you're going to win the World Cup, you want to win it in Rio. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's the best place to win it. But you know, so many many players, they were so tired. I can remember um, Mats Hummels. Um, I think he went after dinner directly to his room and, and slept because he was so yeah, no, exhausted. No, no so, way, no way. Um, yeah, you and me, I was like no yeah, way. six I, in the I, I'll, I'll be there until... 10 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Oh. And the next day, 10 o'clock. And, and the next day. So it, it wasn't Brazil, so we flew back and we had the, um, you know, like the, the drive of the bus. Yeah, great in, celebration in Berlin. In Berlin it was yeah. amazing with all the German supporters and fans, and that was a super nice experience. But also, um, my first big title was Stuttgart because my hometown and um, we won the, the league unexpected. So this is also um, super. Um, Emotional, but for sure the World Cup is the for biggest every thing player whatever you in can, the world. Yeah, yeah. Of, of course, the most important. I think thing. we can ask uh, Bless Matudi. Maybe he's coming the next. So <laughs> I think he will. He will say the same for sure. Okay, but uh, the Yahim Lev said that it was the most professional behavior he ever seen when you talked with him before the game, after the warm warm up, and you said to him, "I can't play." You have to choose another one. So 
you feel really for 100%, you didn't have a temptation, I want to try because it's a final? Um, no, you know, I'm, I worked hard six months before, every single day, 10 hours um, to be ready for the World Cup. And, um, and I got it and I played also the Champions League final. And as maybe you can remember, we played the final against Atletico Madrid and mm -hmm. uh, Diego Costa. He went out after nine minutes, mm -hmm. so it's um, um, they have one substitution less. If you have to change after nine minutes, it's like better for for us than for exactly. them. Exactly. So, the and um, I spoke to to Joachim Löw before the game because also um, Angel Di Maria. He was in in doubt, no? In doubt, you say. Yeah. And I said, yeah, but if, even if he's playing, he cannot play more than 10 minutes because with this kind of injury, you cannot, like a muscle uh, injury, you cannot play more than 10 minutes. Uh, otherwise, you got um, more injured, so you have to you have to leave the field. And um, it's better for us if you have one substitution more um, during the game um, instead of 10 minutes. So, and then I felt the the, the calf problems during um, the warm up. And to be honest, um, I didn't train the day before because I also felt after 10 minutes in the in the, in the training before the game. So I felt good um, before the game, but then during the warm-up, um, yeah, I just had the possibility to sprint. But if I like walk normal, I, I cannot even I cannot even walk. So I was like in the middle of the stadium, look around all the crowd, and I thought like, okay, what what should I do? Maybe to play a World Cup final to have the picture, you yeah. know, <laughs> like the the first eleven have the picture on the field. Or you're, um, you're not like selfish and try to support your team and to give another uh, substitution, the opportunity for another substitution. And um, I went inside, spoke to the doctor and I said like, I have a lot of pain, I cannot um, walk normal. And he uh, touched my calf and said it's like completely, um, how you say, completely hard and like you cannot, you cannot play. Maybe you can play 15 minutes, maybe you can play 30 minutes and I said okay. Then put another player. So and we've had the game went to extra time, so it yeah, was important that you don't lose a player after ten minutes. The first, I think, like the first twenty-five minutes, um, I was on the bench, but I cannot remember because I was like in in another world, you know. Because I thought a lot, shit, why um, I cannot play this game? But then after, I, I found my energy and tried to support. To support. So you team leave and, the World uh, Cup final. Do you know what I mean? Even even if you're not on the field, you still leave it with the team. Yeah, but at the end, you have to. Um, you have to win, because you win as a team. One child in one interview asked you what superpower you want to have and you said that you want to run a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah. So it's, the, it's, it's your, uh, I don't know, it's your main disadvantage or in your opinion or? No, the people always. I, I also read some, you know, some newspaper. They always say that I'm, that I'm slowly, but I'm not. It looks <laughs> like maybe it looks like I'm not that fast. Like I don't know, like Cristiano or like Douglas or like Costa me. or like a Tech <laughs> or like Buffon. So <laughs> it's super difficult. No, but I, I don't know. It's it looks nice, you know, like if they run super fast. So and how light they run. So this but is to like be fair, it also and, depends uh, on the on the type of the player you are. Like yeah, you, exactly. you're not the player that goes one on one with players. You, you don't need the speed. Now me, me and my, on my on the pitch and like my skills, I don't need. But maybe it would be nice for one day. I don't know. And to be fair, in midfield we have usually three players that are not very fast here at Juve, but they run more than anybody else. So sometimes you, the the, the speed of your run is not equal to to the amount of kilometers you you make in the no, game. It's funny because they always. Uh, you know, they speak about speed, but maybe like on the side as a winger or a right or left back. So there you have to be fast or like sometimes as a central defender. But even you see uh, right. Bonucci and uh, Oper or <laughs> Chiellini, they are not the fastest player in the world, but they are one of the best defenders in the world. So um, actually to be a fast player means to not to run fast, but to think fast. Yeah, yeah exactly. On your position, it's absolutely crucial yeah, yeah. So because the many coaches claims that you have special gift to analyze what is happening on the pitch to anticipating and so on do you agree what I, I, I agree this I actually I would say this and don't be red don't, don't get shy now <laughs> Sam is a player that you you appreciate more the more you play with him mm -hmm. like maybe if you want watch one game 
good player, play, plays in the big team. But when you when you play with Sami and 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 you see how he reads the game, and also with your experience, no, is is a good player. But is you have player. it, or you learn it, or um, I don't know. I think both. Both. It's like a kind of of talent maybe that you have, but also. Um, when we speak about speed, um, I played one of the best midfielder um, in the world, um, Xavi Alonso, and he was so slowly, so slow, but he's f***ing amazing. How he, his position on the pitch, how he he touched the ball, and, and, and his quality of his passing, touch, yeah, like his first touch, like his passes, but also his tactical skills. I, I learned a lot of, of uh, tactical skills from from Xavi Alonso, so. Um, so you have to be, don't have to be fast, but think fast, and you always have to find the right position. So it's like a mix of talent and also um, like good coaches, really good coaches, and uh, and good players. That what Max Allegri said that you don't understand why Sami Khedira is a good player because you don't understand football. I understand. <laughs> That's actually quite good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same like with the goalkeeper. So you have. Maybe some player, uh, some goalkeepers, like they are more doing like show, but there are also others like 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 tech. But it's the same. Like I saw, I know tech. I know say? I know you uh, many years before, but it was like, yeah, maybe he's a good goalkeeper, but but then he came and the people say, ah, oh, but how is uh, like Chesney and. Um, it's the same, so I have to give it the compliment back. It's already paid. Keep going. Okay. This is not going to be cut out. This is not going to be cut out. <laughs> no, because the first year he he's uh, the first. Uh, a few months you just train, or you did, maybe you played yeah. one or two games, and then uh, Gigi got got injured, and and I was a bit like, okay, like because Gigi is like a legend, and with all his experience, he's an old guy, but he's uh, old still, but still still amazing, and I thought like, okay, now we play with the second goalkeeper, like the second goalkeeper now, but then I can remember the Champions League game. Um, what Olympiacos, Olympiacos, I think. Yeah. So <laughs> and then I start, I, I start even a training, and, but the training and game is completely different. And then I start to believe in tech, and you can see how much quality or even this guy has. And it's not that everybody speak about Chesney; they speak about uh, many other goalkeepers, but not about uh, about tech. So um, it's the same. Even if you play longer time with him, then you can see um, how good he is. So I think it's good to be undervalued, by the way. Yeah. I th I, no, I think it's, it's better it, actually. Yeah, I think, I think I'm it's, a, exactly. it's a very good quality. It's not a quality, but to be undervalued is it, it gives you much more freedom and and ease when you play because people don't expect from you. Exactly, it, there's and, no and expectations about you. I think Cristiano said this uh, uh, a few weeks ago that um, he was super um, like p that when when Messi or Ozil. Um, Moved Left. from 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 uh, Madrid to to Arsenal, no? Because Mesut is like he's like a genius. Um, how to move on the pitch and to give the balls, even with his left foot, he's super nice. But um, yeah, you need both. You need the pass. You need, uh, but also you need the, the finish. And um, there are not many in the world um, like 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 Cristiano you have, or like you see the France with uh, Griezmann. It's got like four pair. or five goals. Yeah, so they're they're finisher, no? Maybe you see them not all the time, but you need them to to win the big titles. Or we had uh, in the World Cup 2014 with uh, with uh, Klose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's a uh, golden. Yeah, player. he's like a, like a strong guy, but he's always thinking just to to. Yeah, you don't you don't see him for 90 minutes, but in the end you look oh two goals closer. Yeah. yeah. So this is also super. One of one of the best Polish players in history. He was. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> With Lukas Podolski. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for these two great players. <laughs> After your first season in Juve, you said that you were very close to make decision to end of your career. Huh? No, there was misunderstanding. So yeah? I said, okay. yeah, um, yeah. So I said because I played just 25 games from 60, I think, in the first year. And I suffered a lot, so I said to my brother, um, "Listen, I have to change something in my life because um, I'm not happy in like in this kind of position, you know, to play five games and then um, to stay out for a few weeks." So um, 
I thought a lot about um, extra kind of, uh, of training, even in my private time at home. So um, I thought, otherwise, if I cannot come back on this um, kind of level, I would like to, um, yeah, to 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 stop my career and maybe to become a coach or I don't know anything else. The strange thing is, you said it after a season where you played 25 games. <laughs> it's not like yeah, you but didn't play. I promised. <laughs> I promised. Yeah, but I promised to the even to to Mr. Allegri. I said like the next year. Um, I minimum play 40 games, so that's why I said and I promise you? you. Yeah, I played like 46 or 47. So that's funny because the people start to speak about, ah, yeah, he's getting older, and um, I don't know, he's getting slower. And but if you can see, even like now, I'm in a, in a really bad situation now because I cannot play. But um, I will come back for sure. So, but it's funny that if they speak about the, ah, he play less, and but I had the last two years so many um, minutes when I played, and also so many games uh, like never before in my career. And I'm 30, 31 now, so almost 32. So it's just a, a question of your mentality and um, how you would like to work. So even when I was 25, I thought like, no, oh, it's you don't have to do more. So. I prefer to have a coffee, but now I understand. And even here in Juventus, we have so many professional players. It's like an example, and even it's like they we push um, each other, and so that's nice. And even then, your performance getting getting better. It's very interesting because you said that you are from Germany, which is the land of hardworking, professional discipline. I don't know what else, precision and so on. But actually, in Italy. We can talk about it among the footballers, yeah? I was super surprised because I played in Germany and then I moved to Madrid, to Spain. It's completely different. But then I thought like, okay, Italy is the same like Spain. But it's like even worse, I say, than, than in Germany. So it's, you have to be always on time. You have to be like, you know, to be in, in, uh, in the gym. You have to work hard. And even the mentality is completely different. Um, like even stronger than in Germany, I think. And then the tactical approach is, yeah, is yeah, completely exactly. different so, as well. But it's nice, I like so because from outside you, you sort of, no, no, it's not not that hard, but it's like super, in, how you say, in details. Yeah, details, yeah. very detailed. So I like it. So it's completely different to Spain and also completely um, different to, I to Germany. I think that we are talking about especially Juve because uh, Kuba Bostekowski, maybe you know the guy who played for Borussia Dortmund when he came to Fiorentina, he said, oh, I'm really disappointed because it's totally different than in Germany. I like order, Ordung muss sein, yeah, and I like when everything is prepared. And in Germany is, but not in Fiorentina. So maybe, uh, maybe, Juve, may, maybe it's a, not an Italian thing, maybe yeah, it's just maybe a Juve, it's a Juve maybe thing. Maybe it's a thing, yeah. <laughs> but this, to be honest, um, this club it's improved a lot in the last years, um, and it's it's amazing. I think you you played for Arsenal, but um, also the the club is um, and then the person who work here is like super open, and they would like to improve every year, year by year, and um, this is super nice. So they don't say, ah, oh, we won the league five, six, seven times uh, in a row. Enough. <laughs> they say no, we have to do even to work harder because if you're on the top, it's it's. Um, it's much harder to stay much there. harder to stay there, no? And um, and then also the target of uh, of the Champions League. You also need the players for that because for me it was the same in the first in the first uh, my first year. It was super difficult because it was completely different to to Spain. But I would say you have to like to adapt and also to respect the mentality of the country, but also. Um, the mentality of the club, because it's a completely own mentality what Juventus created, no? So, um, but I suffer also a lot, I suffer a lot the first month, because sometimes I say like, okay, I don't understand why we have to do this, but then after a few months I understand, because I'm getting fitter, uh, um, I even played more, my, my performance was much better. And you win every game. <laughs> and we won every game, and at the end, so, um, and then you, and then you say, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why, now it's, it, Face off, no, you say. Yeah. So, and now it's it's nice. So it's it's like a truck. No, you go in the gym. You have to go in the gym because um, you know that it's, um, you are getting better. So yeah, let's improve you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sam. <laughs> thank you, guys. To było prosto w szczerze, jak widzieliście z bardzo interesującym gościem. Sami Kedira poświęcił nam mnóstwo czasu i dowiedzieliśmy się poważnych rzeczy. Wojciech Szczęsny, dziękujemy. Dziękuję. Łukasz Wiśniewski, do zobaczenia.
In Warsaw you didn't play, in Gdańsk you didn't play, and I didn't play in Frankfurt, I didn't play in Paris. So that's where. So it's time. Uh, we, we, we're too good, but it's not gonna. <laughs> we're, we're good it's, friends. Not gonna, it's not gonna change actually. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to play against each other because he already suffered one time. Uh, he knows what it's like to come up against me, even though he played in the same team at Cagliari away last year. You can you can find the photo. Yeah, yeah. He knows. What was still, the situation? Uh, I come up for a cross and I I killed him. He had to come off with a head injury. He thought I was a striker. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wracamy do gry z pragnieniem niesamowitych wrażeń. Poczuj doskonały smak Coca-Cola Zero Cukru.